Good morning. All right, starting day off with the DoorDash because since the cart, you can't get no orders in the morning anymore. At least I can't. It's 7.50 going like 3.8 miles, I think. All right, so Instacart was listening to me right after I said, I can't get no Instacart orders. They sent me one. It's a meh. It's $14, 5.6 miles, only nine items though. So at least it's an easy one. After dropping off the last one, I was close to the Wegmans, so I've been sitting at the Wegmans for about 10 minutes. Haven't seen anything worth doing, but I just got a DoorDash that's meh. Today seems to be the day of meh. It's 14.50, but I could drive seven miles, and I'm not delivering where it's taking me, so I will be driving seven miles back. All right, I didn't film anything picking up this order. Oh, that restaurant always takes forever. And then you gotta drive super far. All right, after that one, I made my way back to the Wegmans. One guy who does Instacart all the time is walking around in the parking lot. He was walking around in the parking lot one earlier, so obviously there ain't nothing going on at Wegmans. But um, I just got this one on Uber Eats, my first Uber Eats of the week. It's 10 bucks, so good chance there's a hidden tip on it. And it's only going 1.9 miles, and it's picking up at this new restaurant called Slim Chickens. Because, you know, between Popeyes and well, there isn't any KFCs left, but Chick-fil-A, we got Roaming Rooster. There is just so many damn chicken spots. I feel like now there's more chicken spots than there are burger spots. All right, I just pulled a super dirty multi-app. We got the Slim Chickens in the car and I accepted a DoorDash picking up at Subway six bucks two miles we're gonna drop off the Slim Chickens then go pick up the Subway I told y'all there's gonna be a hidden tip on this one anytime you see a ten dollar order on Uber Eats there's a good chance all right DoorDash just stacked the order and you, this is one I normally wouldn't do but just because of how easy it is I'm gonna do it um, it's another 450 for 0.6 miles picking up at the subway. So normally I'm not about 450, but I'd rather make $10 on the subway run for less than three miles than make $6 for two miles, you know, like. Donald. Is that one? All right, subway confused me because this one is a gift so the name that was on the bag was not the name that the app was showing me and the girl in the store was like let me see and then I was like oh I figured it out it's right here anyway let's go drop them off Uber Eats was literally like right across the street. DoorDash, DoorDash went to, it's like a rehab nursing home kind of deal. All right, y'all, it has been about two hours since I dropped off that last Uber order. And Instacart, man, I haven't seen anything. And I did the first order at like 10 o'clock. It's almost, it's 1.45 now. But I did just get a crack finger. $53 going four miles. 26 or 29 items, but 84 units. So I could lose a lot of money because, you know, 
I already saw they ordered like 10 packages of like the salmon. And, and you know, just when people order that much in bulk, your tip could get slashed. Anyway, I'm going shopping. I don't care. Even if it, even if this order only pays me 30 bucks, it's still a great order. All right, that order went really good. The customer added a few more things, and normally they like never respond if you ask them any questions, and I always feel bad because they tip really good, and you know, like I want to get them exactly what they want, but they asked me to get more mozzarella, and I was like, okay, and then they ordered a, was it butter nut or I think it was butter cup squash, which I've never seen before. And I asked the guy in the produce section, you know, we don't have that. So then I asked them if they wanted the butter nut squash and said, and they were like, no, just refund it. And then the salmon, which is what I was most worried about because it's $7 a pack of salmon and they wanted seven packs. So that's $70. They didn't have the brand that they wanted, but they had nature's promise and it was either the same price or maybe it was more it might have been a dollar more a pack but either way she said that was fine so heck yeah we're gonna get maybe a little bit more potentially than what it the 53 dollars it showed oh i'm so grateful to get this order today yeah while i'm going on about this order that joint was it said 29 items because they added stuff when i got to the store but anyway 29 items and it was a 350 dollar bill that's crazy, but it's $70 in salmon, you know? And I did make an extra two bucks on that one and I think I'm going for a bike ride because I only need to make like a hundred bucks to hit my $750 goal for the week and it's Friday at 2 30 in the afternoon and um, yeah it's 70 degrees out it's gonna be getting cold might as well go enjoy it all right, if you don't want to see the cycling content and you just want to skip ahead to more deliveries, skip ahead to 10 minutes. I'm doing it. I'm sneaking across the bridge today. Oh, wood in the bridge. Followed by a tunnel. Followed by another bridge. Ooh, heart rate is really high, but I'm feeling good. Well, this is interesting. This is a bike trail. Ooh. There's a lot of tunnels and bridges when you come this way. Whew. Man, I'm on a good rip here. This is the weird part of this bike trail where it's kind of the road, but you got these curbs to save your life. Oh, buddy. Ooh. An hour into my ride, 16 miles.
it is Saturday morning now. Um, it's about 11.45. I slept in today. I felt... I went for it. <laughs> that bike ride. I probably put a few clips of it in. But I... That's the longest bike ride I've done in a while. I did like 22 miles. I think I rode for almost an hour and a half. But it was so beautiful out. I really enjoyed myself. I, I have this Garmin watch. And like, you know, it tells you a lot of stuff. And after I did that bike ride, it says I need to recover for 60 hours. But it was just... It don't know me. I'm riding my bike again today. Anyway, now that I'm done rambling, I got this Instacart. It's 20 bucks going 2.2 miles. I think it's like 30 something items and it's a lot of items, but at least it's not going far. That's I'd rather shop more than drive far. And uh, a lot of you guys commented bridge in my last video, which you had to watch all the way to the end of the video to hear me say that. So thank you to all of you who did that. And I got quite a few comments about how Instacart doesn't really care about your ratings anymore. The new thing they're doing is give the good orders to the, the people with new accounts, you know, to incentivize them to keep doing more Instacart. And that's just basically a big old middle finger to all of us who, you know, have been grinding on this app for a long time, you know, getting all their orders fulfilled. And then now, quite a few people also told me that they've got screenshots of orders where you have to shop for four people. Shopping for three people is enough. Like, that is, that's too ridiculous as it is. Keeping that stuff separated, and then they'll give you sometimes where it, it, there's too many items to actually keep it separated. I am, I will not do four customers. I don't care how much it's paying. I suggest everyone out there never do a shopping order with four customers. That is. Mm-mm, mm-mm. F you, Instacart. All right. Got that Instacart shop for a while. I was shopping, they added one. And, um... Yeah, I kind of feel like it's not, I mean, it's, I don't know. It's not the best order because of how far it's going, but I'm going to visit my mom and it's headed in the right direction. So, yep, it's good to me. It was like almost $17, only 12 items. It was a lot of units though, but, and it says an extra 7.6 miles. But like I said, that's, I mean, it's kind of out the way, but it's in the general direction I want to go already. So I'm cool with it. Saturday evening now. I've got this Mama Roma's DoorDash. Uh oh, I'm in the dark. 750. I think it was like 2.9 miles. Um, yeah. So the last clip, I said I was going to visit my mom. My aunt ended up being there, so I ended up staying way longer than I normally do because we were all talking. And uh, yeah, then I came home and I took a nap, which I think is funny because in the clip I filmed this morning I was bragging about how my watch said I was going to need to recover for 60 hours and I just was like I'm going to ride my bike again but no I'm, I've been so tired anyway let's go drop this DoorDash off alright I came out to the gas station I'm debating on doing this order it's $13 7.8 miles but the second one drops off right near my house so I think I'm gonna do it. Oh my God, y'all, I am so glad I'm not going this way. There must be a bad accident or something because traffic is completely stopped. Getting out of the shopping center. Yeah, so getting out of the shopping center is at a dead stop. Luckily, I have to go the other way so I can avoid that whole thing. But man, I've avoided like five accidents. Like people are terrible at driving i i swear it's got to be the the grand theft auto generator i mean i grew up playing grand theft auto but i understand there's a difference between how you drive in grand theft auto and how you drive in real life oh my god doordash wants you to take a picture of 
the receipts on the bag to pick up the order now. Uh, like, it used to just be you pick up the order, you hit confirm, and you move on with your day. Like, they're literally just adding more and more steps. You got to click it. There's just, you got to click 15 things on the screen to say, okay, I've picked up the order. Like, what the, what is going on with these apps, man? All right, so immediately after dropping off that one, I got this order, 1550 going 14 miles. I swear there is just order after order going on to the Fort Meade military base. Uh-uh, uh-uh. These apps are really getting on my nerves, but I did just make it work for me because when I accepted that Mama Roma's order, I was like, well, I need to go get gas. This takes me halfway out to where all the restaurants are where I need to get gas. I got gas and then I made $13 to come back. So I made $20 to go put $30 in my gas tank. So to me, that's pretty good, you know? But yeah, to me, it's just funny how I can't get my DoorDash acceptance rate above 20%. I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm between 15 and 20 all the time. And I just think about how like DoorDash is like saying they're going to give me better orders if I take 50% of the trash that they send me. Like I, that is not a good deal at all. And the bottom line is all of these apps need to start paying more money. They are way too greedy with this two and three dollar and, and Instacart four dollars for us to do these stuff for them. Like all they're doing is they've, they've found their way. I mean, everyone who does this know they found their way around minimum wage <laughs> to where the amount they pay us is laughable. All right, Sunday morning now, and I just got an Instacart. It was like seventeen dollars and something, going five miles, twenty nine items. Not the best, but gotta do something to get me started. evening now friday evening well 4 20 always a good time friday evening sunday evening what am i talking about i spent most of the day at the skate park today um i got a, a trick request from the grub hub gorilla i think that's your name i hope that's your name it's something like that but he asked me to do either a switch casper or a switch casper slide which if you don't know skateboarding that's like an impossible trick i think maybe like five to ten other people have done that in the world so we didn't do that one because i could try that trick for a year and probably not do it or he said a feeble grind so i did a feeble grind anyway i'm really rambling here here's the skate clip bicycle on Facebook marketplace I found a good deal on one I'm super excited I just got it home and I started cleaning it up but I got this instacart so let's stop rambling talk about the instacart it's almost 26 bucks it's 35 items going three miles but it's shopping at Safeway and I'm about five miles from Safeway so yeah but I can do DoorDash and Uber and I'm near uh, Wegmans which I've been told instacart shoppers call it wedgies so from now on, I will refer to Wegmans as Wedgies. But yeah, we're gonna get to Safeway, start shopping, and I'll show you all my new bike later on. screwed on that order because I was a dummy and I didn't look and they ordered three things in the deli because normally I won't start the timer until I get the stuff in the deli at least ordered 
and then there was no one in the deli so it took a couple minutes to hunt them down so it took me longer than it usually would to shop for that one and then good old Safeway only had one cashier open and they wouldn't let me go to self-checkout so that one took a little longer than I would have liked but that's the way it goes All right, that's gonna do it for this one. Uh, we're gonna, well, delivery-wise, we're gonna go over the totals real quick, and I'm gonna show off this bike I got. So for the totals for the week on Uber Eats, only did one delivery, made 13 bucks. On DoorDash, I made about $100. And on Instacart, I made $665. So when you add all them up, that's $777. And yeah, I'm gonna go for the thousand dollar next week, thousand dollar goal, but I get my YouTube payment, so it's still an easy week. All right, so here's this bike I bought yesterday, or well, today in the video. It is a Fuji road bike, it's about 10 years old. It's not really, I mean, to by today's standards, not anything special, but awesome bike to me, easy to work on easy to keep rolling um yeah about i just need to get some new handlebar tape for it because it's all it doesn't feel good it feels all gritty and then the brake pads are kind of old and dry rotted but i have some extra brake pads and i don't really like these tires so i'm gonna throw some tires on that i have that i do like i'm gonna change these pedals out i wasn't able to get them off yet they were kind of stuck on there, so they're going to take a little extra work to get the pedals off. And I'm going to put the pedals I like on the bike. And same thing with the seat. This isn't a bad seat, but I have one that I like better that I will put on the bike. And then uh, lots of smiles and lots of miles. Anyway, take it easy, y'all. Thank you for watching. Tune in next time.